Okay, we're back, and this is hopefully the final part of this tutorial, and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will go according to plan. Sometimes things mess up for me. Okay, now go to your, um, just a bit, I'm going to close this down just to be on the safe side. Go to your, your folder, so it's SDK content, off FT multiplayer, model source, models, in fact, yeah, congrats, and once you just right click that and go to open with um, studio MDL GUI or you can just open it directly from your location it's basically a file that you can just put and I just keep it on the desktop it's it's not a file that actually installs it's it's a direct application okay now in this if this is your first time using this go to config um, now if you're using episode 1 tools path, you go to config, episode 1, my computer, move this down a bit, C, program files, um, steam, uh, bah, 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 bah. steam apps, your name, source SDK, bin, episode 1, bin, and just select that, okay? Now, just if you're using Orange Box, just do the exact same, but go to Source SDK um, bin Orange Box bin. Like that. Just select that and click OK, and you're done. I'm going to be doing this for Deathmatch, so what we're going to do now is just to be on the safe side. We're going to load our QC, QC file from our congrats folder not the one on the desktop, the one that we just made up here in HL2 MP model source models congrats open that up and we're going to be compiling it for deathmatch because we haven't made any directories in half five or counter strike so just select that and select down deathmatch compile And that's compiled. Note you have to have Steam running to compile this. If Steam's closed, it'll give you an error message saying you have to have Steam running. I'm just giving you a heads up on that. Model viewer, hopefully, fingers crossed this worked, or at least the model worked and the texture isn't there. Hopefully. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yep, make sure that deathmatch is selected down here. File, lewd. I would make a tutorial for Orange Box, but I don't actually have Orange Box. Congrats. There we have it. Your model is successfully in the source engine. See? It wasn't so hard now, was it, guys? Now, that's the normal model. For the physics box, this is a physics box. This, you see these red lines? That is what gets hit when you fire at it, or, you know, you drop a grenade near it, or you punch, you, well you can't punch it, you use your crowbar on it um, but that's it if you follow this tutorial closely you should be at this stage now okay if you followed it closely you should be at this stage so please follow it closely please make sure that you put everything in, in the directories that I did and things like that. If you have any questions just send me a private message or you can contact me on MSN or whatever just send me a private message with your MSN address and I'll help, I'll gladly help you out. Like I said I'm sorry that this, is, this isn't for Orange Box but I don't actually have that on my computer. Um, but it's basically the same thing. I mean like you would just put it in Source SDK Content, Episode 2, whatever you know whatever game you're trying to put it into and put it basically just do that but do it for episode 2 you know it's basically the same thing once you get learn this learn this tutorial okay and once you get the hang of this one episode 2 will seem piss easy you'll just be able to do it okay I really hope that this helped because it took me a long time to learn and figure out I was stumped before I was really stumped and I'm going to prove that it's actually in game to you guys right now, okay? I'm going to prove that it's in game. I'm going to pause the video 
and I'm going to load up, if Camtasia will let me, I'm going to load up um, my deathmatch, I'm going, to, well, I'm going to put it into Hammer, in fact we'll do that right now. What we're going to do is going to go into Hammer, okay, just to prove it works. Do that right now. File, new. And we're just going to go to our little thingy here, which is obviously the entity tool. And just click there and, and press enter. You probably, I don't know why I'm telling you this because you probably already, already know how to use it. Right click, properties, and turn it to prop underscore static. I know that a lot of you guys know how to do this, but some of you might not know how to do it. So then go to the world model browse and just look for congrats and there it is I know, it looks, I know it looks fucked up there but it doesn't look fucked up in game I don't know why the viewer does this click OK apply press it down and there we have our model right in hammer and just to prove to you that um, the size that I showed you is actually correct I'll put a terrace there um, well a normal guy anyway View camera like that. Make sure they're actually on the same height with each other. And as you can see, they are on the same height, exactly the same height that we made it in 3ds Max. Go into our main view, and here we have it. Basically, our model. I know, I know it's primitive, guys. I know it's primitive, but you know. It just shows you how to, I wasn't showing you how to model a limousine and get it into um so I was just showing you the principles, the basics on how to do it. Well that you know so this is it. I'll make a very quick part four to prove that it does actually work in game. In fact I'll make that I'll do that now. Um give me one second. I'm going to make my map quickly and then I'll be get back to you. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here's my very simple map, the the props, the prop that we just made, we're arranged in a certain order, and here we are in second Half Life's deathmatch. Okay. And here you have it, the prop that we just made. As you can see, I made it wood, so it's acting like wood. You can make it metal, concrete, dirt, I think as well. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I did look on YouTube for any tutorial like this or even about this, but there just wasn't any. And I know that reading text documents kind of sucks because you don't see that it actually works for yourself. So thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to check out our mod, goldnicesource.com. Um, this is Ahmed Fury. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it helped. Any questions, just send me a message and I'll, I will be happy to help you. Um, so take care and yeah happy playing whatever <laughs> uh, take care bye